What's going on everybody? My name is Rob and apparently I'm an asshole. A little bit of a background. I'm from Brooklyn, New York originally. I live in downtown Los Angeles right now, but uh, New York is considered the, the asshole capital of America. Um, but it's not like that. I can tell you honestly, everybody's just trying to get to work. It's an expensive city. And you know, when you're walking down the block and you're late for work or you're on your way to work and it's already, you know, traffic and chaos and you just got out of a metal tube traveling under the city. The last thing you want to see is four people from when on our Wisconsin looking at a building like, oh my gosh, it's so big, I never seen one. And then just blocking your way and then just, yeah, there's a lot of things that go into it. I don't have to get into that. But what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna read some Am I the Assholes on Reddit and um, judge people, because where else are you on the internet? Am I the asshole for telling a stranger, it's weird you choose to sit right next to me when there's so many other seats available on the public transit? Okay, hold on. Before I even read this story, I'm gonna tell you uh, just a quick opinion, and then I'm gonna read the story. If you're a New Yorker, or if you're in any metropolitan city with a train or a bus, and there's so many open seats, if somebody sits right next to you, yeah, they're an asshole. They are. But let me read the story. Update. Everyone thinks I'm a female. I'm a male. <laughs> so I took the transit today and the streetcar was totally open and available. Streetcar sounds like St. Fran, probably. It's really nice because there were about 30 different seats available and I was alone. I was sitting on the window seat and some random stranger just came up to, uh, to me and sat next to me. I was thinking, why is this guy sitting next to me? There's like 30 available seats at the front and back and he sat next to me. So I said to him, why did you sit next to me? There's so many other seats on the street card. It's just a little strange. He said, well, do you own this seat? Is this your seat? I can sit wherever I want. You're being unreasonable here. I said, correct, I don't own this spot. I just don't understand why you chose to sit right next to me when the entire street car is empty and you can sit anywhere you want on the street car. He responded the same thing and I thought, okay, I don't want any conflict with a random stranger I don't even know. I ended up getting up and moving because the situation was perplexing to me. It's like an unwritten rule. If there's an abundance of available seats, you sit alone. So am I the asshole in this situation? Nah, 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 no, no, no. The dude's the asshole. And, and on top of it, because it's two dudes, I'm gonna explain something to the people who don't know dude etiquette. If there's two urinals, sorry, there's a row of urinals. That word just usually trips me up to it. I don't get it. There's a row of urinals and there's one, say, in the middle. The guy is in the middle. No one else is there. If someone pulls up to that next urinal, that's a violation. Move over one seat, uh, one urinal, one stall, one pee, pee, pee over here, okay? Same thing with this. Why do you need to sit next to me? On top of that, let me see when this happened. You know what, let's go back a little bit. Let's do a little investigation. Seven hours ago, okay. So seven hours ago, post pandemic, empty streetcar. Why are you sitting next to me, bro? Why, why? Why are you doing that? Why? I don't need your germs. I don't need you sitting next to me. Matter of fact, I got anxiety. I don't need that. I got, you know, issues. I don't need that. What if I was the killer? What if I had like stabby Tourette's? I'm not making fun of anyone. I'm just saying, I'm just throwing this out there. Just stabby Tourette's could be a word, Urban Dictionary, leave me alone. I'm just saying like, why are you sitting next to me? He's the asshole. You're not the asshole. He's the asshole. You did everything right. You even got up and moved. I, I personally wouldn't have even had that much conversation with the dude. It would have been like, hey, um, why are you sitting next to me? There's so many other seats, da da da, da on a streetcar named Desire, yada, 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 me. And then he goes, why do you own this seat? Yeah. I, I mean, no, no violence, no violence. I would have gotten up then and there. I wouldn't even have given him that justification. I, I probably would have um, moved sooner. Yeah. You're not the asshole. With a bunch of scraps. Okay. Am I the asshole for feeding my dog table scraps from a dinner my boyfriend made for us? The woman is 24. She says she's been dating Jay, who's 28 years old, for four months. 
He's handsome, smart, funny, well-educated, has an awesome job, and is a sweetheart. Sunday, he had a whole day planned for us. We were going to take a nature trail walk and then go back to his place for a dinner he was making. I was so excited because it was going to be the first time I'd be at his house. Since we were hiking, he said I could bring my dog Shelby with us. He made us a roast and some vegetables for, for dinner. I finished my plate before Jay did and took it into the kitchen. It was still about half of the roast and it was close to Shelby's dinner time. So I took half of the half of the roast and some still raw veggies from the fridge and put it on a plate for Shelby. I was carrying the plate back to the door with Shelby to feed her outside and Jay asked me what I was doing. I told him I'm feeding Shelby. Jay said something like, well, that's not dog food. Jay's, Jay knows I mainly feed Shelby a raw diet. I opened the door to put the plate down for Shelby and Jay got up, took the plate away from her, went to the kitchen and came back with it wrapped up in tinfoil and told me to leave. His excuse was that he made dinner for me and him, not me, him and my dog, that I should have asked before I helped myself since he would have used his leftovers. I did leave, but not before telling him that he made that meal for us so I could do with some of it as I pleased and knew damn well how I feed Shelby. I tried walking, I tried talking to my friend about it later that night, but she said Jay was right to be upset, but this friend has never really approved of how I treat my dog, so I feel like she was probably a bit biased and the wrong person to ask. Am I the asshole for feeding my dog like I normally would? Yeah, yeah, you're kind of the asshole. Uh, I mean, I'll put it to you like this. <clears throat> yeah, you're the asshole. A roast is not cheap. Not that we're being, you know, nitpicky here, but times are tough. A roast is not cheap. He made dinner for you. You were the one that last minute asked him to bring your dog. He said, hey, can me and you go on a hike? Cool. Hey, can I bring my dog? Yeah, no problem. It's a hike. But then when you get to the house and you feed your dog like raw veggies and stuff like that, and then you want to take out the roast, a portion, a portion of the roast, he was just going to wrap it up and be like, you know, I'll eat it for tomorrow, yada, yada, yada. And here you go giving it to a dog. At the end, the other side of it is like he could have made it and thought, oh, you must not have liked it. Let me just feed it to my dog. I don't know. There was kind of something. Maybe you could have asked him first. That's that's probably it. I don't even think both of you are assholes. I don't think he's an asshole at all. I, I don't think you're an asshole. I just think it was, um, you didn't think about it. And that happens. I'm not here to give you relationship advice. That's enough assholes I want to look at. That does, That's not going to sound right. Okay. Anyways, thank you for tuning in. Uh, make sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, and in the comments, put why I'm wrong, why they're wrong, why you're wrong, why you're an asshole, why you're not an asshole. Roast recipes. Give me recipes. I like those too. But tune in. We're going to have some more stuff to eat.